Hello, everybody. Um, so I wanted to share something that I found for launching the Formula 3 uh, with the new Tire Model 7 stuff. Um, as we know, just dropping the clutch in gear with full throttle spins the wheels and is generally bad. Um, and people on the forum pointed out that there is support in iRacing for double clutch for various cars. Um, and whether the F3 is has it in reality or not, um, seems like it's a um, little bit up for debate, um, but at the end of the day, it's a feature that's in iRacing now. So at first, this seemed like it was going to introduce a potential advantage for people who have a double clutch system on their rims. Um, but with a little experimentation, I think I found a way uh, to get effectively the same functionality um, with my existing analog clutch pedal and a button on my rim. So the way that it works um, is you map the button to the second clutch um, in the options. So that's the binary button for the second clutch, and then I have my normal analog clutch for um, the pedals. And then the trick is to adjust the calibration for the clutch pedal, uh, the analog, so that it has headroom. When it's fully depressed on the device, it's at the ideal clutch point uh, to bite. So as a quick demo, um, Fit Girl VR scene. Fit Girl VR scene. Virtual reality I'm not sure we can really see on the video clearly on the driving input down there, um, but when the pedal is fully depressed, it doesn't quite, I mean, it goes about two thirds of the way up. Um, when the clutch button is depressed, it goes 100%. So to launch the car, it's the same procedure as you know the wheel-based double clutches. Press and hold the bite point clutch, press and hold the button clutch, put the car in gear, Full throttle, um, when the lights go green, release the button, and then release the um, analog to get the car to launch ideally. Um, it's obviously going to take me some practice and stuff to get effective and consistent with it, but I think the, um, the principle is sound. So, once again, full throttle, in gear, both clutches in, release the button clutch, and then release the um, analog clutch to get the car to launch. So the only part that's slightly complicated um, is the calibration. So I can actually show you pretty quickly. Bit girl, rig desktop scene. Desktop scene. So each car, um, I have mine set so that each car is using different controls and I can adjust this just for the Formula 3 without changing any other car. Um, but it's in the joycalib.yml file within the Dallara F3 folder. So if you open that up, um, in my case, I'm using a Fanatec Club Sport V3 pedal set, um, and the Z axis is the clutch. So this Calib Max value um, normally is 4095 because that's what the device puts out. Um, but it's obviously going to take some math or trial and error to figure out the exact ideal bite point. But what I just hacked in for now was 6095 instead of 4095 to give the calibration some headroom. Um, and that seems to demonstrate the feature pretty well. So your mileage may vary, um, but I just wanted to share that with the community and stuff um, for people who are trying to launch the Formula 3. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Drive safe. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bit girl in the stream. Ending stream. Please remain calm.